Jojo Siwa is putting Nickelodeon on blast in a series of fiery tweets as it seems the network is attempting to take control of her brand and her music. Let's get into it. It seems Jojo Siwa has a bone to pick with the network that launched her career in 2017, shortly after her dance mum's debut. Jojo and her signature hair bow and glittery getup have since been acting, singing and dancing their way through Nick, while even headlining her own concert series known as Dream The Tour, which kicked off back in 2019. While the tour is set to pick back up in 2022, Jojo seems to be having some issues with Nickelodeon, who hosts her tour as seen in a series of outraged tweets posted on Tuesday night. She took to Twitter to out the network, writing, I go out on tour in January. My movie musical was just released with six new original songs. Nickelodeon told me today that I'm not allowed to perform, add any of these songs from the film into my show. These are my songs, my voice, my writing. Does this seem fair? Jojo went on to explain that there is no reason that the music should not be included. Working for a company as a real human being treated as only a brand is fun until it's not. As many Jojo Siwa fans know, her movie musical The J Team was just released earlier this month on Paramount Plus and was produced by Nickelodeon Movies, so it doesn't seem like it would be a controversial ask to perform some of her new songs. It's unclear as to why Nickelodeon will pull back on allowing her to perform songs from the J Team, but it seems the network is set on only performing music from her Dream the Musical and Celebrate albums, which is what her previous Dream Tour set list consisted of prior to the postponed tour dates. While many details regarding Nick's agenda are still unknown, fans have been rallying in support of Jojo since airing her frustration. This fan tweeted, Folks, we ride at dawn for Miss Jojo Siwa. While one person shared some eye-opening facts about how much Jojo is raking in for the network, they said number two movie on Paramount Plus, coming out with an exclusive J-Team closet. They are getting their money out of you. All they've cared about for a while now and it's noticeable. I questioned it in January when they released the game that your values didn't stand for. This has become an ongoing issue with networks like Nick as well as Disney who have been outed by their employees aka the stars of their shows, many of which have previously voiced just how overworked they were, especially as young children and teens. One fan perfectly summed it up, stating, maybe it is time for you to shop around and find a reputable company that is going to work for you, not the other way around. It's no question Jojo brings in millions of dollars for the brand, and based on the fact that she took her frustrations public, we can only assume some major contractual changes are now in the works. We hope. And for all the details on Jojo's monumental Dancing with the Stars debut, click right over here for another clever video. Then be sure to let me know your thoughts on Jojo outing Nickelodeon like this in the comments section below. I'm your host, Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later. Bye, guys.